What's going on guys? It's Sap. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Sapaday every single night at 6 p.m. PST or early in the morning on Sundays doing things like Gambit, Trials, Comp, I do it all. So today's video is going to be about Fractithist. Fractithist is the brand new stasis shoddy that came in the Season of the Lost Season Pass as well as Umbrals. This shotgun can roll with incredible perks such as Adagio and Ensemble. Now, these are brand new perks. Adagio is going to be a perk that after you defeat a target, it's going to increase the amount of damage it does an extreme amount. And Ensemble is a perk that improves handling and reload speed whenever you are nearby allies. It is significantly better than Quick Draw, but it requires a little bit of teamwork. Now, best way to farm this shoddy is Umbrals. You are going to be turning in your parallax trajectories into the umbral decoder and you're going to want to select oh sorry the prismatic reactor and you're going to want to select the wayfinders blast now this is going to be your best option as it's going to give you multiple perk slot choices at the end if you do not have this unlocked yet you can use tier 2 focusing to go ahead and just unlock the normal random roll. But I would highly recommend you guys go with Wayfinder's Blast. Now, what is the roll that you want? I had a couple of rolls uh, today, you know, just to mess around with, but I really want to give Adagio a good shot. I would recommend going with, once again, Full Choke or Small Bore in your first slot. Second slot, definitely go for Accurized or Assault Mag. Light Mag's a really good second option. Quick Draw or Ensemble in your third slot. Slide Shot is an option, but the handling's already pretty low. I wouldn't really risk that. And then your final perk, definitely go with either Opening Shot or Adagio. And of course, always you want the Range Masterwork for consistency. We're gonna go ahead and fly into a Rumble and go ahead and see if we can demonstrate how incredible this new shoddy is, because I've heard really good things so far. So the first game we went ahead and used the quick draw adagio roll and uh i'll tell you what it feels really good but i don't know the way that my play style rolls i really want to try out a hip fire with opening shot i think that this roll might fit my play style specifically a little bit better hunters really do need to be able to react more than just playing corners so i want to see if this plays the hip fire roll more Once again, the sound, oh, it is, this is an addicting weapon to use. Truly, truly. Okay, immediately liking this roll better. Maybe smoothbore is the option for this. It does have a little bit lower handling than most shotguns, so getting that ADS speed with full choke is gonna be, it's gonna be tough. And you do you not have the option to get a snapshot in the final perk column, so. You're not going to have that, uh, that utility that you want for full choke. Got a little bit greedy there. He had the Teraba perk. Teraba, when it's fully ramped up, is a very, very, very uh, tactical weapon. It's fun to mess around with. Did not manage to get the pickup. Tried to block off the door. This is a much more fast-paced lobby. I like it. It's gonna play uh, play the shoddy lifestyle a little bit better. Most of the time, you get a lot of passive players in rumble lobbies. There is gonna be one guy right here. I don't want to get stuck. Got the pick we were looking for. We're gonna go ahead and retreat, try to play spawns over here. Play the advantage of the shotgun itself. Man, this shotgun absolutely has the range that you need if you are a hipfire guardian. If you like to push in, get aggressive, 
get that chip damage in. This is a roll that you absolutely are going to have to go for. Did manage to get that quick shot off just before the Titan shield went up. If we run away, we should be able to force a spawn back here. We did. Perfect. Use that spectral hitbox. Has a lot more range than you think. When you get up close, it whiffs sometimes, but you're far away. It definitely is forgiving. Perfect. Looks like we got a good, nice little spawn trap. We did manage to get the trade there. They are expecting it. Looks like we got nature in the corner a few times. Go ahead and try to get the last kill with the shoddy. I wanted it so badly. I knew he had the sword. I knew he was three peeking with it, but I figured maybe I could just get that cleanup that I was going for. Okay. Well, regardless, we managed to close it out. So I did play a game on uh, Rusted Lands with the first uh, Fractithist. It, it is a really, really powerful role, but I would recommend this for more of a Warlock or a Titan, something a little bit slower. For how I play, the hip fire opening shot is definitely gonna be the one that I like a lot more. It's, it's a lot more used as a utility or a cleanup. So highly recommend that you guys try to pick one of these up. Um, small bore worked out great. Full choke's also a good option. Uh, definitely get accurized. Quick draw felt amazing, even on this uh, shoddy that has relatively low handling and then uh, opening shot or adagio, but opening shot really just adds to the consistency. Make sure you guys aren't like me. Make sure you get lucky, get that range master work. But yeah, this is definitely an incredible uh, shotgun for your primary slot. So make sure you guys pick one up. Much love guys. If you have any further questions, you can go ahead and come over to my Twitch channel. I'll have the link in the description. And if you guys, you know, ever have uh, any questions or any comments or you just want to talk or show a role that you guys got anything you can always hit me up on twitter or post a comment or you know come over to the twitch channel so i appreciate you guys and have a wonderful rest of your day